The sensitive continued, Your old friend is particularly anxious that I should express to you his gratitude for something you did for him during the last few years of his life, which was not only of immense service to him personally, by preventing some great misfortune which would otherwise have overtaken him, but which enabled him to live out the remaining portion of his earth existence in comfort and comparative peace. I gather that the misfortune he refers to was of a financial nature. He is careful that I should impress this upon your mind for some very good reason, no doubt. Mr. Beard then remarked, he is again showing me the cow to which he draws particular attention, as also the ring on his hand, to which he is pointing as he holds it up for my inspection, and added, is all this quite intelligible to you? I replied, it is not only intelligible, but wonderful, but could my old friend tell you of some peculiar term he invariably used in speaking to me, or of me, to others, a term or name of his own choosing? I should regard this as being exceptionally clear evidence, if you could but get it. Mr. Beard promised to try. After a few minutes of silence he said Amra or Hamra, yes, that is the word he gives me, Hamra. N.B., this word in Hindustani is pronounced like Homra, I said yes, perfectly intelligible, but there is something else. Mr. Beard added, he is now showing me five separate letters, the first two of them are clear and they are, S.A. The other three are obscure. I am trying to get them shown more clearly, but our visitor appears to have difficulty in this. After this the medium said, he is showing me the last three letters, but as they continue somewhat obscure I hear the complete word which I take to be Sahib. Mr. Beard then informed me that my wife was present and standing quite close to my old friend. I said I was glad to hear this because it indicated that if my wife, a Christian, were found in the same heaven, or spiritual condition, as a Brahmin, God's veritable heaven must be of a different nature from what Orthodox Christians are led to believe. I added, there is one singular feature about this appearance of my old friend and it is this. I have, strangely enough, forgotten his name, although I was connected with him in business for over twenty years, and know his name as well as I know my own. Can you get it for me? Mr. Beard almost at once replied, he is showing me G. O. D. these three letters, and wishes you to understand that his name is particularly connected with God. Mr. Beard remarked, it seems so strange a suggestion that I am still trying to get his name, but he keeps showing me the same word God. God. I fear I can get no further answer. Does it convey any meaning? I said, none whatever, nor did it. Mr. Beard then surprised me by saying, your eastern friend is now talking to your wife and he is tapping his own forehead and pointing to you, and wishes me to convey to you his regret for your lapse of memory. Both of them are now looking at you and smiling at your perplexity.